greetings to you family greetings to you welcome you to another video so in this video we are sharing two messages of apostle john suleiman and prophet shepherd bushiri major one where they were talking about they were addressing major issue in the body of christ when man of god stand on the altar to criticize or to condemn another man of god so they went on to share their opinion and what the church is supposed to do they're supposed to be sharing the truth in love so let's go straight to this video and watch subscribe like share and comment any man of god who i see him fighting another man of god i remove you from the list of men of god you are not you can't use puppet to fight other men of god we need love you ask me have you ever made mistakes in ministry oh yes so many mistakes we're making mistakes in ministry. That's why Apostle Paul said, when I minister, I beat myself so that I don't just run in a vein. Even Paul was sitting down and making sure he, wherever he has done something or a mistake or an error is corrected. Mistakes are done in the ministry. Every man of God makes mistakes. This is why we have got fathers to teach you to say, this is wrong. Do you understand? One day I came on the pulpit. I was so angry how somebody attacked me. And I stood on the pulpit and I said, God will do this to you. God will do this to you. <laughs> My father called me and he said, you don't supposed to do that. That was wrong. That was wrong. You're a man of God. What you speak comes to pass. That was wrong. From that moment until today, I have never again, no matter who says what, I have never stood on the pulpit to say, hey, you, you said this. This will happen to you. Because I was corrected. That's how ministry is supposed to be. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here. That's how ministry is supposed to be. Because I'm telling the truth. That's why I've got the fathers. That is what Prophet Shepherd Bushiri Major One said. He said he was once doing that until his father in the law which is prophet Hubert Angel called him and asked him not to do that so now let's listen to that of apostle Johnson Suleiman the restoration apostle when he was asked why is it that he doesn't respond to critics about him so let's listen to this video someone asked me a question and said apostle I don't see you talk condemn pastors criticize pastors and talk about pastors who is wrong or right and I laughed I said you know why he said no I said when I minister there is the blind there is the deaf there is the dumb there's the diseased there are those believing God for the touch of God you mean that we abandon those with problem and start talking about who is right or wrong I said I don't have that kind of time the anointing on me is to meet needs the anointing on me is not to be a senior prefect it's not to correct people it's to solve problem it's to manifest the Bible said the NS expectation is the manifestation, not the correction. We are not here for correct, we are here to manifest. The only way for me to tell you is fake is for me to show you what is real. People who have who cannot manifest it are the ones talking it. For me to tell you a herbalist has no power, I have to show you the power of God. Or if I tell you the abalist has no power, the abalist will say I'm jealous of him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when I bring the real power, it keeps quiet. Because power not be powder. <laughs> <laughs> Who graduates people from Bible school these days? When I was teaching in OBI, you graduate, how? How will you graduate, how? I gather the students when I'm praying for the sick. I give you one blind, give you one deaf, give you one dumb. If they're not healed, they're not graduate. how? When I got so busy, when I got so busy, see celebration. Students were jumping. They were happy. Papa is not coming to class again. Thank you, Jesus. What is happening? How did we get here? How did we get here? In those days, sir. Huh? When, when we are young, younger people, we sit down. We say, have you watched the latest crusade of Pastor Benny Him? Say what? Say, that's the tape. Anahem crusade. We'll sit down. We'll watch the move of God. You see us in worship and prayer. Since there's no food and no hunger. We are crying. How did we get here? How? I remember a period I was waiting on the Lord, seeking the face of God. I forgot date, forgot time. Entered there 21st of December. I came out 
26th, I was saying happy Christmas. They said, get out. Christmas was yesterday. I forgot day. I was lost in his presence. How did you get here? No growth. The, you, the, the dimensions. People, angels are visiting people. You, see, you are wasting. Sit, sit, stay there and be talking. Just be talking. Be talking. Be talking. This is real. This is not real. Why would they be? Be talking. People are growing. Be talking. Stay there and be debating. People are getting lost in God's presence. How can somebody be 19 hours worship? 18 hours of worship. Lost in God. You have not even assessed the portals of two hours worship. And people are doing days in God's presence. Check our fathers. Check their passion for growth. Check our fathers. Check their hunger. I was praying for a man whose finances had a problem. And the Lord told me that the, the, one of the sons were responsible. And I called for the name of the son. When the child came out, I said, no, no, no. I mean your son. This boy, seven years. I said, Sir, no, no, no. You're, because when the Lord mentioned the name, I was expecting to see an adult. I told the boy, how do you, how, how do you destroy your father's finances? He said, when plenty money is coming for daddy, I will just... <laughs> it means I'll blow a wind. To seven years. Look at dimension. Seven years and you, you have been born again 15 years. You can't scatter anything. This one, seven years in, in demonic oppressions, he uses wind to scatter finances. And you have not put any kingdom under pressure by your, by your existence. No kingdom is feeling your impact. If you traveled all the way down in this place, don't let nobody distract you. Ted, I came on this mountain to contact dimensions with God. No distraction. If you have to turn off your phone and turn this place to a retreat, no distraction. 1995, I was praying at the Redeem Camp. I went on my knees to pray. By the time I opened my eyes, after 22 hours, people had held my leg, my hand, my the sweat. People, people had held me. Some we were around the altar. When I stood up, I couldn't stand. I fell under, under the power of God. And they said, we went, you were praying. We came back on the same spot. We left, we were praying. Kept, people had held my legs praying. Some had held my hands. Some, because I was hungry. I was, I said, God, I don't want to be a rumor monger. I don't want to be a talkative. I want to be a carrier of power. I want to affect my generation. I want to affect my world. How did we get here? A brother. A witch attacked your wife. She had a miscarriage. What an insult. What, what, what an abuse to your oil. Your business. Look at business you invested billions on. Scattered. What an insult. Look at your son. Your biological son has become, has become a rebel to the things of God. What an insult to the oil. So there are people who are not growing. I told you now, growth. The proof of growth is budding. But you go to the place of prayer. You go to the place of worship. The proof of growth is passion for intimacy. Hey, receive that hunger to grow. I don't like the sound of your amen. If your amen is louder, you are the one I'm talking to. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe, like, share and comment on this video. I believe uh, what they said is very important uh, to the body of Christ. We don't use the platform to condemn other ministers, but we use the platform what, to preach Christ and to preach love. So God bless you. I will see you in my next time. Turn on the notification button, which is very important to us so that anytime I post a new video, you'll be the first to get a notification button, uh, to get a notification. God bless you. See you in my next one.